February 10, 2025, as the sun sets over Beijing, the first workday of a new week is winding down. In the ID and Technology District, traders and engineers at WizardQuant are finishing their final calculations for the day. But while offices go dark, something far stranger is happening deep within the Ethereum blockchain. At 6 p.m. local time, a transfer where 21,000 USD moves from an address linked to one of WizardQuant's employees. The sender, a man named Hu Le Ji, a programmer, an investor, and a name that until now had not surfaced in public. Although a significant sum, in this case, it wasn't the amount of money that made this transaction unusual. It was the message attached to it. There is a new mode of crime in which the victim is gradually deprived of his senses of desire until he becomes a complete slave to the digital machine. And if one day I become a victim of the final stage, I will leave the world. But this was just the beginning, as over the next week, more messages would appear alongside millions of dollars in crypto vanishing into the void. So join us as we uncover the transactions and explore the theories surrounding one of the most mysterious events in crypto history. Let's start with WizardQuant, also known as Quande Investments. It's a quantitative trading company founded in 2015. Now, unlike traditional hedge funds, firms like WizardQuant specialize in high-frequency trading or HFT. Basically, they use advanced algorithms to execute trades at a higher pace than any human could. In their line of work, speed is everything, so these companies rely on huge datasets and automation to predict the market and move millions of dollars in an instant. All of this comes with high stakes of course, meaning long, stressful hours for the employees. But aside from the stressful nature of the job, up until this point there was nothing really unusual about Wizard Fund. No scandals or controversies, just another high frequency trading company. Same goes for the managers Feng Xing and Xu Yuzi, although they would later get dragged into the mess. Okay, but what about Hu Le Zhe? Honestly, there's not much known about him. In his own words, he's just a regular programmer and an entrepreneur, but his identity has not been confirmed and there's very little public information about him. The pictures of Hu Le Zhe that I used in the video come from a Flickr profile under the same name, which has inspired many memes, crypto logos and online theories. But do keep in mind that we cannot say for sure that this is the same hula Jew behind the transactions. In total value, he transferred about 7 million USD between the 10th and the 17th of February. The transactions included various donations to parties like Wikileaks, but also about 1.6 million in burned currency. Burning in the crypto world means transferring money to an address that no one can access, essentially destroying the funds forever. Now, getting rid of 7 million dollars in a week is weird enough on its own, but in this case, the weirdest part was the messages that started appearing alongside the transactions. And just so you know, both the transactions and the messages are recorded on the blockchain, meaning that they cannot be altered after the publication. The first message that we already went over appeared at the same time as the first transaction. In it, who warned us about a new mode of crime where the victim is deprived of his senses. Then came a few days of radio silence, until on the 15th, who added another message. As the brain-computer interface and mind-reading technology keeps developing, there is a new mode of crime in which wild animals become puppets or complete slaves to the digital machine, mentioning a new mode of crime and the digital machine once more. Another two days of silence followed, and then on the 17th came the final string of messages. First, who brings up brain-computer chips that are allegedly used to control people. Brain-computer chips have been deployed militarily on a large scale. All military powers are using base stations, radios and nano-brain-computer chips to control all citizens. In the next one, the management of WizardQuant faced some serious accusations. The CEOs of Quande Investment, Feng Xing and Xu Yuzi, used brain-computer weapons to persecute all company employees and former employees, and even they themselves were controlled. And in the final message, Hu states that he's being controlled and humiliated and also announces his plan to unalive himself. I am Hu Le Zhi, 
an ordinary programmer and an entrepreneur. Since October 2022, I realized that I have been monitored and manipulated by the mind control organization since I was born. When I realized the existence of the mind control organization, they also increased their harm to me. I have been very painful in the past two years. Now I have completely lost my dignity as a human being. I have decided to leave this world and hope that this ugly world will be destroyed soon. After this, no more was heard of Hula Ju. And actually, not much more was heard about the case at all. The company did give a generic statement denying the accusations, but acknowledged Hula Ju's previous employment. However, there was no coverage from any major news outlets. But that doesn't mean that people stopped questioning what really happened. If anything, the lack of responses only fueled online speculations. Discussions spread across crypto circles and reddit threads with theories forming about what might have really happened. One explanation is that Hula Ju was struggling with mental health. His final message speaks of pain, loss of dignity and a decision to leave this world. A paranoid mind might have truly believed he was being controlled and if that's the case then this wasn't no warning but a final statement. Another theory is that Hula Ju was trying to expose something real. His messages weren't random, they specifically mentioned brain-computer interfaces, nanochips and large-scale military deployments. Instead of posting this on social media, he put it on the blockchain, a system that can't be censored or erased. If he genuinely believed what he was saying, then maybe burning millions of dollars wasn't an impulsive act, it was a statement and a way to bring credibility and grab attention. Some also believe Hula Ji's wallet was hacked and someone else was sending these transactions and messages. But if that's the case, why burn the money instead of stealing it? If someone was trying to frame him, why drag it out over multiple days instead of making a single statement? At the end of the day, we may never know the full story. But what do you think? Could this be real or just a random guy on his last straw? Or maybe even a millionaire playing a sick joke? You can leave your speculations in the comments and I'll put the link to the transactions in the description. So if you feel like it, you can take a closer look. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing if you like technology topics. I'm making a new video as we speak. In my last video, for example, I used Minecraft to automate my house in real life. Anyways, thanks for your time and see you in the next one.